what's up you guys welcome to the video and welcome to another installment of morning notes I know it's been a very very long time if you're not familiar with what this series is it's basically just a time for me to talk to the camera it's a very relaxed setting so if you are you know waking up in the morning and you're eating your morning oats normally I have oatmeal but it's 4 p.m. right now um, I already ate my oatmeal this morning so just sit back relax and enjoy the topic so today's topic as I'm sure you can tell by the title of the video is gonna be all about you know do I smoke do I drink have I ever done any of those things so that's what we're gonna be talking about in today's video so the first thing that I want to bring up is alcohol do I drink alcohol now no it's not something that I do at all I don't drink any alcohol at all um, it hasn't been something that I have ever done in the past yes I have <laughs> I've definitely drank in the past not, not a lot like definitely probably maybe ten times I would say that's about right maybe about ten times and um, you know I have been drunk to the point of, <laughs> I guess I'll tell a story. So, um, the only time that I've ever been drunk to a point where I threw up was, I don't even remember how old I was. I think I might have been 18, 19. I know it's under 21, but I was at a friend's house and luckily it was a really safe environment. So, uh, my friend invited me over and we were all playing Guitar Hero or Rock Band, I think it was. And pretty much like what we were doing was if you lost or didn't get, pretty much if you didn't get first place, you didn't get the highest score, you had to take a shot. And he had like, so many different types of alcohol like literally I don't I don't even know how many there were more than I even know exist right so all this alcohol so we're basically just I'm just taking shots of a bunch of stuff and mixing it all in. and then when I'm playing I'm still drinking so I was just I got really really drunk and you know I ended up actually going to sleep that night at a, maybe about like midnight I think I fell asleep maybe like maybe 1 a.m. and then I remember I woke up the next day at 8 a.m. and I ran outside and I threw up like more than I've ever thrown up in my entire life um, and that was <laughs> horrible I remember like the feeling that you get when you throw up and like you can feel it on your teeth and like your teeth just feel like grimy and gross that's like that's the feeling that I had and I just remember like the whole next day I felt horrible it was just not a fun time at all for me and I think I'm not a hundred percent sure but I think that might be the last time that I actually ever drank now again I'm not condoning underage drinking like I said I don't even drink at all anymore and you know I want to talk about why I don't drink anymore as well so there are a few reasons as to why I don't drink right now now I think the most obvious one is my weight loss journey when I first started losing weight I really did look at like you know how many calories are in things and I, I just remember looking at alcohol and I just remember thinking to myself because it's not like I was a big drinker I'd only drank a few times I just remember seeing the calories on it and I, I just felt to myself like I didn't enjoy drinking I thought I, I've always thought that like beer and, and all alcohol just doesn't really even taste good anyways and like I, I've always felt like people just kind of force themselves to like it because of the feeling that they get because I've always thought that like all alcohol has just tasted terrible so I remember seeing like the calories on beer and all this stuff and then just thinking to myself why would I ever put that in my body and this is when you know when I was first losing weight so calories were really really important to me and so I was really you know focused on trying to minimize right so I just would see the calories on on alcohol and I thought to myself like it's just not worth it so that was the first thing but then the other things that kind of have led me to not like drinking and not really just enjoy that type of lifestyle that people you know people like to have is because you know at first it was the calories but then it started to become more you know like I really enjoy working out I really enjoy trying to progress every single day and when these people will, will go out and they, they want to drink every single weekend it's just setting you back you're like you might take a few steps forward but then you're taking like two steps back and for me it just doesn't really seem to make sense like it's just not something that I want to do and I am in no no way trying to make people feel bad if they like to drink every once in a while like this is not at all a stab at anyone this is just you know me trying to tell you guys where I come from and why I don't like drinking another big reason is just the atmosphere that I've been in you know the atmospheres that I've been in that have had alcohol a lot of times I mean granted I was younger so it, a lot of times it just like literally like I said it was 19 and stuff like it was times when there shouldn't have been alcohol there anyway so the the atmosphere was always kind of scummy and it felt a little like it felt a little off like you know what I mean if someone showed up you had to leave and stuff so that was always kind of kind of threw me off because I'm not someone I, I talked about this before on my on my channel you know I, I, I deal with kind of with social anxiety and a lot of times when people want to drink they want to go to these clubs and at first like even getting invited to a club I'm just like uh, I don't know like it's too there's too many people there so that makes me not want to go but then like the stories that I always hear from from people that do drink of like oh this person did this and like this person had a girlfriend and they did this anyways and that's always just kind of like turned me off to it because 
I don't know. Like I said, I'm not trying to make stabs at anybody, but from what I've noticed, especially with a lot of people that I do know personally, is like they will use alcohol to do things that they want to do anyways, but they'll use alcohol as an excuse as to why they actually did it. And to me, that's always just felt kind of wrong. Like that just doesn't it just doesn't feel right. And another reason that I don't drink is because obviously I don't want to deal with the after effects of it, you know, dealing with the hangover, dealing with being tired, be, you know, being dehydrated. Those are just things that for me, my goals, they it is literally the complete opposite of what I'm trying to do with with my life. So I just don't see the point in forcing myself to do something that I, I really don't want to do. Now I understand that I'm talking a lot about people like getting super drunk. I have no issue at all with people that want to, you know, have a beer or, you know, have a glass of wine after they're, uh, they have had a long day or they like to drink a beer with their meal. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> For me, I just, it just, when people say that they want to have a beer, for me, I'm just like, why? Because <laughs> I just genuinely do not like how it tastes, so I just don't see why people would like to have that with their meal, but I understand everyone has different taste buds and stuff like that, but for me, when people are like, why don't you just have one beer? Because like to me, it's just like, why would I do that? Because I think they're disgusting. <laughs> but I guess the main points with, you know, alcohol, why I don't drink it is because when I first started losing weight, you know, I, I focused on calories a lot and I would see the calories in alcohol and beer and things like that and I just thought, eh, it's not really worth it and on top of that, I've never liked how it tasted, so there's no reason for me to even really want to experiment with it because I've, I've always thought that it tasted really bad. And then on top of that is I don't want the feeling afterwards, like if you get super drunk, right? I don't want to deal with the hangover. I don't want to deal with the negative side effects. So I've just kind of decided not to do it. So the next thing I want to talk about is smoking like tobacco or shisha or hookah, whatever you kind of want to call it. Um, so I've only ever smoked, a, I've never smoked cigarettes, but I've only ever smoked a cigar one time in my life and it was when I was 18 years old and you know you go I turned 18 so I was like oh cool like I'm gonna buy a cigar like it was something that my family has always done I bought the cigar it was like a fat one and I remember I smoked it and I didn't even smoke the whole thing but I remember I woke up the next day and my mouth tasted like an ashtray like it was absolutely horrible I, I brushed my teeth like four times that day so needs to say I do not smoke any cigars or cigarettes or anything like that. Now when it comes to hookah or shisha, that's actually a different story. That is the thing that I've actually smoked the most. Um, not something that I would do anymore just because of the way that it made my lungs feel. Um, but I actually did own like a really pretty big hookah and I used to smoke it seriously like every single day. That was not the best idea. <laughs> then, grant, it tasted really good and it was really fun and it was fun to go to hookah lounges with friends like that. Because, like for me, as I've said before, you know, dealing with like those big situations where there's a bunch of people like at a party at a club, that's just not my thing. So going to like hookah lounges was always nice for me um, because you know, granted, I was bigger too at this time, so I was a lot more comfortable just in a spot where I could kind of just sit down and relax with friends. Um, but I just felt a little bit more comfortable in that situation. Um, so that was something that I was a little bit more into. And I, I mean, I. I couldn't even count the amount of times that I've smoked hookah. It was a lot. Like I used to smoke it seriously every single day. I would go out and buy shisha. I would like get really nice like you know flavors and mix them and I like, knew how to do everything with the coals and everything like that. Um, but I, I, I ended up stopping and th this was before I had even lost weight or even thought about losing weight. But I ended up stopping because every time I would smoke I would realize that like for me at least Every time, I, so after I would smoke, I would take like a big breath in and I, I could just, like I would just feel like that, that tightness in my chest and in my lungs. And I just remember, I just, I, I didn't like it anymore. Like I felt weird and like, I just, I didn't like the feeling after I would smoke. So I just ended up stopping that just because I felt like it just really wasn't worth the fun, you know, with friends or, or even just like, I would do it, I used to do it by myself in my room and I just remember being like, ah, I'm not really into this anymore. So I stopped doing that too. And the last thing I want to talk about is weed or marijuana. As you guys can probably tell from the previous points that I've made, I do not partake in smoking weed or anything like that. I do feel like I might have a little bit of an interesting perspective on it because growing up in Southern California, you know, living here my whole entire life, it's not like I've never been around it. So, you know, I've seen people that are able to really handle it very well and they're able to live normal lives and then I've also seen people that can't handle it at all and they end up spending every single cent that they are able to get on getting more, you know, getting more weed. So, I think, like, the main thing is, is like, are you, if you're able to handle it, that's fine. But like for me, like I said, it's not something that I will ever do. Um, or it's just, yeah, it's just not something that interests me at all. Especially with, you know, I don't want to put smoke into my lungs. And I, mean, I know there's edibles and there's all these other things. But it's just not something that interests me at all. But if, you know, if you're able to do it and you're able to be, obviously if it's legal where you are, <laughs> and you're able to be, you know, smart about it, it doesn't completely engulf everything that you do and all your thoughts, 
more power to you, but it's just not something that's for me. But yeah, that's gonna be the video, guys. I know it was kind of a, kind of a random one, but I don't know. I just felt like it would be kind of interesting, and I've had a lot of people ask me, you know, do you smoke or do you drink or anything like that, or have you ever? Uh, so I thought it would be kind of fun just to tell you guys a little bit more about me and not, not just the weight loss stuff. Uh, but yeah, this video is one that I'm really, really hoping that you guys in the comment section kind of tell me your thoughts about everything. What do you think about you know alcohol? What do you think about marijuana? What do you think about tobacco? Like, what, what are your thoughts? I would I would just love to hear what. What you guys think so yeah I would love to hear that in the comment section down below but again thank you guys so much for watching this video I know it's been a really long time since I've done one of these so if you have any really good topics that I can talk about again leave those in the comment section down below I'm gonna stop rambling thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe there was one other thing that I wanted to say oh yeah look up my fan uh. <laughs> what are you doing eating crackers. you're eating crackers I love crackers. Did you know that? I can have one? You're so nice. You're welcome. Do you like them? I do. I like them almost as much as I like you. <laughs> Just kidding. I like you the most. Give me a kiss. Do you want to say something? Yeah. Say it. Hold on. on. Hold on. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Look at Papa I am. <laughs> Obey the warning signs. And when there are flashing lights or wigwags, don't attempt to cross until they come to a complete stop. <laughs>